What's up guys welcome to our channel eTechnis. In this video we will talk about how to fix a system thread exception not handled error in Windows 10. We will discuss 7 methods to fix this problem but before going further I like to tell you now you can donate us to build the free online instant help community of specialists who can help you to solve the technical troubleshooting for free. The link is given in the description. The minimum you can donate is $3 or the maximum is up to you. Now let's talk about how you can fix this problem. The first thing you have to understand is why are you getting this error. Most of the time these error comes up when there is a faulty corrupted driver on your PC and due to that you get this error show up in your screen. The list of all the errors is given in the description. You can check that out and you can understand what kind of driver is causing this problem. If there is a NVIDIA graphic card then you'll see nvlddmkm.sys error show up in your screen. And if there is an Intel graphic card driver or AMD graphic card driver or mouse or keyboard graphic card driver then you can check the list given in the description. Now let's talk about the methods but before you implement the method to fix this problem you have to go back into the safe mode. If you are getting your screen like I am getting right now click on the windows icon press and hold it down the shift key on your keyboard click on power button select restart. Now as you can see it's showing me an option choose an option but before I show you that option I like to show you one more thing as well. If you are not logged in to your screen then you may be getting a locked screen on your PC. You have to follow the same method press and hold it down the shift key on your keyboard but before holding down the shift key click on your screen. Now you can see the power button in here on the right hand side press and hold it down the shift key click on the power button and click restart. Select restart anyways. Until you'll get the screen you do not have to release the shift key. Once you'll be in the screen click on troubleshoot click on advanced options click on startup settings here click on restart. Alright as you can see in here it says use number key or the function key from F1 to F9. We have to enter in safe mode with networking so we have to select F5. My PC is booting up into the safe mode with networking. You can see safe mode in all four corners. From here we have to start following all the methods. The method one is to update device driver. Do a right click on windows icon. Click on device manager. You will see your driver is gonna listed in here. If you have AMD graphic card or Intel graphic card all of them gonna list in here. If you have any other driver related to mouse, keyboard, network card driver then you can check the other drivers if you are getting the error related to them. Double click on display adapter. Select your driver. Do a right click. Select update driver. Click on search automatically for drivers. It gonna take some time if your driver is not up to date. If your driver is up to date then it's not gonna take that long. If you have an NVIDIA graphic card then you can follow the manual method as well. You simply have to open your browser type in here NVIDIA graphic card and the model number of your graphic card. I am sure you have checked the model number gonna show up in device manager and display adapter. So you simply have to type that information in here. For an example if I have NVIDIA 1080 Ti graphic card then I'm gonna type download NVIDIA 1080 Ti driver. You can see in here it's showing me GeForce game ready graphic card which I can download. I simply have to click download it is start downloading in my PC. Method 2 update Windows 10. If you haven't updated your Windows 10 then I suggest you to update your Windows 10. It's not gonna show up in safe mode with networking to update your Windows. I'm showing you from where you can find Windows update. Click on Windows. Click on Settings. In here click on Update and Security and you will see 
an option to update windows from here. This process can be followed only when you are in your normal screen. Method 3. Rollback Drivers What you have to do, do a right click on windows icon, select device manager, select the driver you are facing the problem. As I have already mentioned the list in the description, so you can check that list to ensure the driver you are getting the problem. I am selecting the display adapter for now. As I am showing you just for the graphic driver, if I am facing a problem in Nvidia, Intel or AMD graphic card, then it's gonna list in here. I simply have to select and do a right click, click on properties, click on driver. From here, you can roll back the driver. After roll back the driver, you can restart your PC. And along with this, I like to tell you, you can uninstall the device driver as well. From here, you simply have to follow the same method and you can uninstall it from properties or either you can do a right click and select uninstall the driver which is the method 4 but I like to mention in this method so that you can follow it without making a long video for you. I like to keep it short so that you can follow the method and you can do it. I hope you understood. After the rollback you have to restart your PC and if that works then you do not have to follow the other methods. If that doesn't work then follow the method 4 which is uninstall and reinstall the driver. Method 5. Repair Corrupted File For to repair the corrupted file, we have some commands in here. Let me show you. You can see this command. We gonna run this command in PowerShell, SFC scan, check health tool of DISM and scan health and restore health and afterward check disk C colon space forward slash R. All of these commands mentioned in the description so if you like to copy it or paste it then you can do that or either you can simply type it. Now here you have to open the PowerShell. Click on Windows icon. If you are not getting the search option, if you have the search option type in here PowerShell. Select run as administrator. Now here we have to paste these command one by one. Let me copy and paste SFC scan. After typing the command press enter. As you can see it says this process will take some time so I'm not gonna run this command for now as I want to show you few other commands as well. Let me copy this one paste in here. I suggest you to run SFC scan command until it shows 100% completed. Paste the command in here and press enter. As you can see it says no component store corruption detected. Now copy the other command paste in here. You can see that it's gonna take some time, 4.9%. So I'm stopping this command in here. I think it's gonna take the time itself. It's not stopping so I'm closing the PowerShell and let me reopen it. Alright, I hope you understood what exactly you have to do. You have to paste this command one by one and run it properly. Paste this command and press enter to run it. Until it's complete, you do not have to stop it. Same goes for all of the commands. Method 6. System Restore System Restore restore all of the setting to the back date when our PC was working perfectly fine. To run the System Restore, do a right click on Windows icon, click on Run, type this command rstrui.exe, click OK, click Choose a different restore point, click Next, click here, Show more restore point, to check all of the restore point you have in here. Once you are sure about the date and the timing that your PC was working perfectly fine on the given date in here, then you can select it and click on scan for affected programs. It gonna scan your PC and show you the affected programs. If you are satisfied with the scan, then click on next and finish. After this, it asks you to restart the PC. Restart your PC and fix the problem. Method 7. Reset Windows 10. Here will reset your Windows 10 while keeping your all of the files. I'll show you both of the method how you can perform it when you are in the safe mode and you are in the advanced tool option. So let me show you if you are in the safe mode what you have to do. Click on Windows icon. Click on settings. This option comes up in here. Click on update and security. Click on recovery. From here you can select the option reset this PC. If your PC is not running well, reset might help you. 
Choose to keep your personal file or remove them and then reinstall Windows. You can select this option from here. Click on Get Start and select the option as per your requirement. Let me show you how it's look like. Simply have to select it, keep my file. It asks your username password of your account. Type the password and reset your PC. Now let me show you if you are in your advanced troubleshooting screen then what you have to do. I'm going back to the advanced troubleshooting. Once you'll see this screen, click on troubleshoot, click on reset this PC. From here you can select keep my files. It is start preparing but I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna cancel this option. You can select your account and type the password in and it is start resetting your PC. So that's all for today. These are the method to fix a system thread exception not handled in your Windows PC. The method 7 is the last resort you have to opt for if none of the option working. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.